In this video, we are going to demonstrate, how to install clamp on ultrasonic flow meter. First, let's have a look at the contents in the video. There are mainly two types of installation. First V method. Second Z method. In this video we are discussing about Z method installation. In the flow meter packing box, the following components included. it. In ultrasonic BTU meters, one pair of temperature sensors and thermal coupling compound included. In addition to the components, one document envelope contains user manual and other documents included in the each packing box. For an accurate measurement of flow, the fluid profile inside the pipe must be symmetry and steady. Fluid profile distortion occurs when an obstruction, such as partially open valve or poor mounted gasket etc. that partially blocks the pipe. Swirl occurs when the fluid flow through pipe bends. The swirl far more difficult than distorted flow profile. To obtain symmetry and steady flow profile in pipe, straight run for both upstream and downstream is required. We recommended total 15 diameter of straight length is required for flow meter installation. 10 diameter for upstream and 5 diameter for downstream. For example, if pipe size is 2 inch, then total straight length requirement is 30 inch. Before start the wiring, bring the wiring diagram from the document envelope and must go through it. You can also download the wiring diagram by scanning the QR code pasted inside the display unit. Fix the transmitter unit near to the site selected for flow sensor installation and wire up the meter as per the wiring diagram. And use 24 volt DC power supply with proper earth to energies the meter. The next step is transducer installation. In this section, we demonstrate how to install in Z method. Before doing installation, refer the site installation data sheet for configuration and installation details. Check and confirm the actual pipe size in the site and programmed and calibrated pipe size in meter are same. If there are any changes, please contact us for further technical support. This is the orthographic view of a typical Z method installation and this is the top view of the pipe. Generally, it is not recommended to install at the top and bottom side of the pipe. See the cross-sectional view of the pipe and flow sensors. The sensors are fixing on the left and right sides of the pipe and not top and bottom sides. The first step is to identify the flow direction in the pipeline. In this case, the flow direction is from my left to right. Then mark the point for upstream sensor as per the site selection criteria. That is 10 diameter straight run. Make a marking in the pipe. Clean the pipe surface very well. If the pipe surface is not clean, as shown in this photo. We are using a clean stainless steel pipe to demonstrate as you see. After cleaning the pipe surface, just lock the upstream flow sensor have red tag with pipe strap as shown in the video. Next apply sufficient amount of coupling compound to the sensor. Then fix the sensor and firmly attach to the pipe. Make sure to install sensor on an angle as shown. It is not recommended to install the top portion of the pipe. The next step is the installation of downstream sensor. For that, note the separation distance from the installation data sheet. Measure the separation distance from the upstream sensor and mark a point exact opposite side, that is midpoint of total perimeter of the pipe. Here the perimeter is 50, so made marking on 25 from the point. Clean the surface marked and apply the coupling compound to the downstream flow sensor. Then fix the sensor on the pipe surface and tight the pipe strap. Here is the installation done. For meters accurate operation and high reliability, the transducer installation should be proper. To ensure that, there is a provision provided in the meter. Have a look at that also. First switch on the power supply and energize the meter display. Then press down button just below the enter button and go to menu 04. Q 
value is short for signal quality. It varies from 0 to 99. 99 represent the maximum signal quality. In next tab, just press the down button, the ratio is the transit's time ratio and it should be 100%. To get the mentioned values, adjust one of the sensors as shown in the video. Tie pipe strap after attains the desired values. Thank you.